Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Wednesday night for a little video Q and A uh, before your writing assessment tomorrow. Uh, a few things you need to know. Uh, I will be on for my Canvas conference from nine to ten tomorrow. So uh, if you look at your writing assessment and you have any questions in the morning, feel free to join that conference. You can ask me any questions. Um, I'll do my best to answer them without obviously giving you the answers. Um, so you do have that option tomorrow. Make sure you have uh, submitted to me your reading questions and your vocab along with your uh, Little Rock 9 uh, primary source activity. On that, I had a few questions about um, when it talks about the rounds. So round one is document A. Uh, so you're answering everything using evidence from document A. Uh, round two is documents A and B. Um, and then round three is documents A, B, and then you can pick one of the other uh, remaining two or three that there are uh, to add for three pieces of evidence. Um, so make sure you're getting that done. Remember, I appreciate if it's all in one folder in your Google Docs and share it with me. Um, if you share me two, that's fine. I'll put them in the folder myself. Uh, but make sure you're getting those to me. If you're missing anything from Unit 14, make sure you're getting that done. Um, you know, Use this upcoming weekend, get that done. The weather's going to be a little uh, crappy. They're talking about getting cold, maybe a little snowy. So um, you know, you, I doubt you'll be outside that much. So um, you'll have a chance to get all that work done and get it turned into me. Um, so really all I want to go over with you guys in this q and is I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about the writing assessment itself. Uh, it's going to be five total questions. Uh, for each question, you need to write six to nine sentences. All right. There's um, plenty of in-depth information in the question for you guys to get six to nine sentences. You know, that's a solid body paragraph uh, that you guys need to be writing. Um, so what are the basic topics that they're over? Um, question one uh, deals with uh, kind of the experiences that happen. Uh, during the civil rights movement and with segregation, um, who is experiencing it, what was experiencing segregation, um, and then ways that people protest segregation. So you'll want to study some of that stuff. Um, two, you'll be looking at some Supreme Court cases. Um, two big ones, Brown versus Board of Education and Plessy versus Ferguson. Um, so make sure you're familiar with both of those. Make sure you know how they changed the framework um, for the civil rights movement, uh, which one came before the other, uh, how the other, how one of them uh, overturned the other. Um, so make sure you are really familiar with those two landmark Supreme Court cases. Uh, the third one, um, you're going to look specifically at a civil rights event. So it could be like the Little Rock Nine, Montgomery Bus Boycott, um, anything. All right, um, and you're going to break it down, and you're going to explain what happened, why it was important, who was involved, how it changed society. Um, and kind of show why it is something important that we need to study um, and, and why we've looked at it. So you're looking at the final outcome uh, of an event that was important during the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, and for four, you're going to be talking about Afrocentricism and the role it played in the Civil Rights Movement. Um, if you need to re-familiarize yourself with Afrocentricism, um, there's a whole slide on it that I lectured about, um, you know, not to get too in-depth about it, but remember, um, that's something new that is created during the Civil Rights Movement. Um, so it's not something that's been around before this. It's specific to people here in the United States, um, and, and it's about heritage. Okay. And the last one, um, we will be talking about Supreme Court case um, and affirmative action. Um, so you need to know what affirmative action is. You need to know how affirmative action changed the lives for Americans um, that were minorities, not only racially, um, but also by gender. Um, then you need to talk about the downside to affirmative action as well. Um, so those are the five major things that we will be talking about in our writing assessment uh, that cover all five major points um, from this unit. So make sure you're familiar with all of those. Um, feel free to join that Google or that uh, Canvas conference from 9 to 10 tomorrow if you have any more questions. Make sure you're getting all your quizzes completed, all your work submitted to me. Um, and then Friday, guys, we're starting that early 1960s unit. We got some video lectures. All right. So let's finish unit 15 strong. Uh, you guys did a really good job on the quick write. 
uh, one and two. I thought you guys had some really good responses. You guys respond to your classmates well. Um, I feel like you're more confident in Unit 15 than you are 14. Um, so good luck tomorrow. Um, no, I'm here to shoot me an email if you need anything. Uh, but other than that, grades have been updated. So if you notice things are marked missing, uh, get those in. But everyone else should be up to date. All right? Study up tonight. Um, maybe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. If not, enjoy the video lectures on Friday. Have a great weekend, and go Pacers.